What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys a drift build in Forza 5 of the 1969 Camaro SS. Now, I got a bunch of um, thumbs up on the uh, the comments suggesting this uh, in the comment section of my last drift build, and a bunch of you guys really wanted me to build a 69 Camaro, so we're going to go ahead and make this thing a monster. We are going to make it mean, and I can't wait to get this thing like out on the track because... Um, we're, we're just gonna make it crazy. Um, we're gonna start with, uh, just the base black, and, but this thing is gonna end up matte black. It's gonna look sinister. Absolutely sinister. I have big plans for this car, as you guys can probably tell. This is your 1969 Chevrolet Camaro SS Coupe. I know, I just bought it. <laughs> I love how they tell you in Forza the name of the car you just bought. I feel like... That's something you would probably already know, but eh, then again, you never know. Now, go ahead and get all this stuff out of the way. Well, not all of it, but at least just the things we need to do. Yeah, that looks good. It's going to look even better when I have the new wheels on there. And as far as the, uh, as far as the engine, we're going to go with... Well, we're going to see what, we're what our options are. We can go with an LS... We could go with a 7 liter. I'm thinking... Or we could go with a 5.9 liter racing engine. But honestly... That 7 liter... I don't know, that 7 liter is just kind of calling out to me. It's like... It's just like, drop the 7 liter in. Just drop in the 7 liter. So, you know what? Yeah, we're dropping in the 7 liter. Actually, you know what? No, I've changed my mind completely all of a sudden. I've changed my mind. I want the 5.7. I want the LS. I don't know what changed my mind, but I was like, you know what? Wait a minute. I want the LS. I don't know what I'm thinking. I want the LS motor. Um, yeah, twin turbo. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Massive boost. Some, eh. Let's stick with stock. Rear wing, eh, again, stick with stock. Uh, rear bumper, I'll, uh, I'll take it off, actually. And the hood. Uh, well, that's kind of cool. I just wonder if it would kind of, uh, if it would hurt the visibility from inside the cabin when drifting because I'm a, uh, uh, cockpit view drifter. I feel like it might hurt the visibility, but... Mm, you know, we're actually not going to do it. We're going to leave the stock hood because I'm I'm, I'm scared it'll hurt the visibility just to, to a point that I don't want it to be. So, we're going to go ahead and go with street tires. And we're going to upgrade the rears a little. Not too much, but if you wanted to go huge, you can go 345s in the back if you want. I mean, look at all that rubber. We're not going that big. Um, I'm thinking, wow, it's a big jump, 255s to 315s. That's a massive jump. I'm going to go with the, uh, the 255s. And for the wheels, we're going to be on, we're going to be on more modern style wheels, but they're going to be blacked out, so they're going to look really cool with the matte black finish of the car. And, mm, those actually look kind of interesting. I, I have to kind of imagine how they would look like bigger because I can't just make I can't just be like well I want to see all these wheels in a different size you can't do that which I kind of wish you could that'd be cool because it would allow you to just see the wheels ahead of time those look nice those look really nice yeah yeah those look good now I just gotta bump up the size a little bit. 16, 17, 18, 19. Wow, 19s don't even look that big. Like, they just don't look that big on this car. I, I was worried that if I bumped them up all the way, that they would just look too big. They, whoa. Dude, it changes the, the front end of the car. Actually goes up, dude. I didn't even realize they, were, they actually li adjusted the suspension live for that. That's actually really cool. I didn't know Forza did that. Um, we're gonna go with... 
18s in the front. I feel like 18s in the front and 19s in the back is a better looking setup than having 19s all the way around. Some cars, it's better to have um, to have that staggered setup, and some cars, it's better to have just a standard setup all the way around the car. Most of my cars are the same size all the way, like the wheels are the same size all the way around the car, but some of them aren't. Some of them, like I said, some of them are the staggered um, setup, and I think that Camaro looks beastly with the staggered setup. I'm thinking we're gonna go like like regular matte black for the car and then matte carbon fiber for the wheels I think that is gonna be a really good looking combo, but we'll have to wait and see. Why did I select the drive line again? I wanted the diff And whoa Now we get to do the fun part now we get to do the fun part we get to the engine We'll be over 500 horsepower real quick are we now 456? Get the race exhaust in there. 474. This is where we're going to get a lot of power. But yeah, cam it all the way up to, yeah, 565. New valves, 580. Yeah, stroke it out to stroke it out to six liters. Six hundred and nine horsepower. Let's see. Six twenty-eight. Again, saving the turbos for last, because I wanna see I wanna see what kind of gains we get from just upgrading to those race turbos. Get the new cooling system in there, six seventy one. It's a it's less power than I thought it would make. Honestly, it, it's it's less power than I thought it would make. But hopefully, um, the turbos push us to around seven thirty to seven fifty, seven eighty nine. Okay. So this engine responds well to turbocharging. Then seven eighty nine. That's way more than I anticipated. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be a blast. Give it a bass tune real quick. Then modify the paint just a little bit, uh, do a little bit of a paint job on it, and then we're going to go ahead and take it out and see if we need to do any tuning changes, because generally you don't have to with these cars, these muscle cars. Generally, they're, um, they're pretty tail-happy anyway, so you don't have to do very much at all. Let's see... Just try to see, get the, yeah, get the diff all the way up to 100 on both, uh, both, um, yeah, XL and D-cell. And now comes the fun part. Well, actually, you know what? The fun part was all, was all of it. The build, the, the tune, the paint, was all fun. You can go ahead and do the body first. Special colors. Matte carbon fi- Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at that. That is a beast. And now onto the wheels. Actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I said earlier that the body was going to be just regular matte black and not carbon fiber. Let's see. Yeah, so... Wow, the matte... Dude! I've just now realized that matte red... Looks amazing. Seriously. I was going to go matte black, but now that I look at that matte red, that's just like, wow. Seriously, though, that looks really, really dang good. I'm going to have to stick with the matte red on this one. I like the matte red. Like, a lot. And that also means I can do a couple of other tricks with carbon fiber. So get the matte, uh, yeah, matte carbon fiber wheels, and then, let's see how a carbon fiber hood looks. I mean, it looks kind of interesting, maybe if we could do the whole thing, mm. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and go with it, because it does look really cool. And, as far as what else we can do, I don't know if it'll let us paint the wing. Yep, it does. Which means we're going straight to carbon fiber. Yeah, that looks good. That, that looks... I was thinking I was going to have to make this thing all black um, to make it look really mean. 
but the matte red, uh, like that matte blood red with the carbon fiber accents, oh my god, just looking at that now is, uh, that's, that's pretty damn intimidating. Now it's time to get this thing out on the track, though. And, yeah, Bernie's Alps, absolutely. Sorry if I feel like, like, if any of you guys feel like, oh, he never changes up his tracks. Well, honestly, Bernie's Alps and, um, Bernie's Alps and Prague are the best tracks in the game. They, they are, that's just the end of it. That's, period, they're the best tracks in the game. I mean, in my opinion, at least. I'm sure, like, there are gonna be other guys that, um, that have different opinions, and that's fine. That's totally cool. That's... That's how, that's how things work. Everybody's always going to have different opinions. Let's go ahead and see how this thing sounds, though. I shouldn't nickname this car the Flamethrower, because that's what it is. Yep, just getting the rears warmed up, you know. All right, let's see how this thing does. Whoa, it is so tail happy. No problem. No, whoa, okay. Saved it, but I'm gonna have to get used to that. The steering speed, uh, The steering speed is a bit, I don't know, it's a bit strange. The steering itself is not, it's, it's not what I'm used to. Definitely gonna have to get used to the way the steering ha like the steering handles. Keep it out. Oh yeah. I can definitely see myself getting used to the steering though. Like it's it's not something that's impossible to get used to. It doesn't matter what gear you're in, it'll spin, it'll spin the rears in any gear. Pretty much, anyway. Uh, oh god. That was way too close. Kind of lost track of my line, too. Wow, fourth gear is such a money gear for this car, it really is. Oh, scrape the wall, I heard that. <gasps> oh, damn, so close. No! Oh, I was trying to take a wider line, damn. We've got more testing laps anyway. Really, that window's cracked now? Come on. That doesn't really affect performance, though, so we're still good to go. I could definitely see this being a high-scoring car, though. A very high-scoring car. I mean, yeah, maybe after a few tweaks to it, but still. Just the fact that if you just keep your, uh, like, just keep the gas on, like, you can keep the throttle on, it'll stay sideways no matter what. Like, you just, you just keep it there. You just pin it there. Like, I mean, this right now is taking so little effort, like, as compared to some of my other drift cars, that the effort level when drifting this thing is, like, literally so low, it's crazy. And not to say that it's, like, like you could drift it in your sleep or something, but it's, I want to say, it's a lot easier to drift this than, say, um, oh, gosh, like, a, like something with, say, a Turbo V12. Where you're having to, uh, where the power is all, like, high-end, and then you're also having to wait for boost to come on. This, since the engine is built along with the turbos, you've got the built engine giving you the low-end power, and then when you get up into the high RPMs, the, uh, then the boost comes in because you've been, um, the boost has been building while that built-up engine has been giving you all the extra low-end power, so you're good to go no matter where you are in this car, pretty much. Let's try not to screw this corner up again. Transition it out. And whoa, 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 whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa, bro. <laughs> Come on. Stay in fifth. Oh, yeah. 23,000. Not bad. Oh, I can definitely see this being a car I'd use for, uh, for Rivals mode. No joke. Kick it out. Not bad as far as entry points go. Just trying to modulate the throttle carefully. Oh, yeah. That's the line I was looking for. 54,000 points. Not bad. That's actually close to a record for me. Trying to do... I want to try and get one more lap in and try and beat that. Nine thousand, not bad. It's more than I had the last time, I think. The wheels, the, dude, the rear tires were spinning all the way down that straightaway in fourth gear. That just shows you how savage this thing is when the boost comes on. It's an animal when the boost comes on. I mean, it's an animal before the boost comes on, and then the boost comes in, and it turns from it turns from a Velociraptor into a damn T Rex. It's crazy. Oh, jeez, wall. I thought I was headed for utter doom. Now, as long as I can keep this line. Oh, God. Come on. Stay outside and then transition it. A little bit of a weight transfer back there. Come on. Should have been in fifth earlier, but we can kind of gloss over that because I think we're going to get... No! Damn, I was trying to get a good run out of that. Didn't end up going as planned. Oh, well. Just means I can try a crazy entry and not worry about uh, losing any points on this next corner. Well, that wasn't a crazy entry. That was complete. I, I screwed that up completely. <laughs> that wasn't the entry I was planning for. That was a much better score than... Well, I wouldn't say much better. It was just close to the same. But... This thing is definitely a monster, and it's up there with some of my best drift cars... And I'm definitely going to use it again. I feel like this is going to be a great car for online, great car for Rivals mode. So, yeah, definitely recommend that you guys uh, try this thing out. And if you guys want to copy my setup, copy my tune, feel free to do that. And if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.